Hello everyone. I saw a tip fly by on Twitter earlier today and I really liked it. So I thought I'd make a quick screencast to show you uh, how you can improve the layout that you have in Xcode 4. Now one of the changes uh, with the new Xcode is that they introduced this unified interface. And this really upset a lot of people because uh, they like to have uh, maybe their bulb log or their uh, debug console or debugger uh, split out into, into separate windows like they could do with Xcode 3. Uh, and I'm one of those people to, uh, that likes to have a little bit more customization like that. And so I'd like to show you how you can uh, get most of the way there. Uh, it's not perfect. There's still a few gotchas, but it, it does improve uh, the workflow quite a bit. So uh, if you're interested in that, keep watching and I'll run you through it as best I can. So, uh, of course, you know that uh, down here you have your uh, console output and also your debugger. And uh, then under the uh, navigator, you uh, would have your, uh, your log uh, from your build. Now we want these out on separate windows. And, and it's perhaps not very well known that you can do that uh, with Xcode. So let's uh, decrease the window size here. And then we'll go ahead and create a new window. Now really the core of this whole uh, idea is that each window can be customized individually. So we are going to turn this window into our build uh, log. So let's do that first. So we, we already have my, uh, the build log over here. I'm going to shut down the sidebar. I'm going to enable the tab bar, and this is important, so that I can rename this tab. And I'm going to call it build. Then I'm going to hide the toolbar and hide the tab bar. Now you can see I have a standalone little uh, window here, and, and this can be customized to your liking. I like to have men down at the bottom. Now let's do this again for the console output. And this is very important if you're like me, you like to debug with a lot of uh, NS log output or print apps or something like that, and you just like to see what's going on with your app through its console output. So we're going to customize this one. First of all, we enable the uh, console log and debugger at the bottom. And then I'm going to turn off the sidebar, make this as big as I can. I don't particularly use the debugger too frequently, so I'm going to turn that off uh, and, and just focus on the console log. Now, uh, now I'm going to do the same with the tab bar and rename this console and again hide the tab bar and hide the toolbar and now I have a window with just the console output now this next part is quite important uh, this only gets you so far you need to open preferences and go to the behaviors panel now I've turned everything off here because I find most of what Xcode does quite annoying uh, it tends to just take over the tab you're currently using and, and just show whatever it feels like there, really. So I've turned everything off, and now I'm going to selectively turn on a few items. First of all, when the build starts, I'm going to have it show the tab called build. Now you remember, I created this, uh, this window here, this tab, even though it's hidden, it's still called build. And that will be shown when I start a build. It's also very important to tell it to navigate to the current log. You'll also want to uh, probably check recent instead of all and then show all messages or you can uh, perhaps show errors only if you're interested in that. Now we need to do something similar for the uh, console log. When the app starts running, I want to show the console tab and that will enable this tab over here, uh, which is my console log. So that's all I really need to do. And we'll quickly test this uh, if I now clean my project you'll see all the action is going on down here and if I build it you'll again see it cleans it and my project is building now while uh, this is going on I'll quickly show you another little app that can help you with the layout uh, there's a little app called Divi D-I-V-V-Y it's available in the Mac App Store it's just a couple of dollars and it helps you to lay out your uh, windows very easily. Now I've, I've customized it a bit already, um, but this will allow me to very quickly take, uh, for instance, the uh, main window that I have here. Well, let's select the main window first, select Divi, and I'm going to select most of the screen and resize my window. And I'm going to use 
Divi to uh, set up the console in the top right and use it to set up the build dog in the bottom right. This is close to how I like my uh, Xcode organized. You may have multiple monitors and want to do something different or have them in a different order, but this basically is the layout that I like. And now you'll see also that if I run, I get my console output. Perfect. 